But first, a move to help San Diego High School students get more sleep may mean some elementary school students get less. Parents have expressed their frustration over the possible change to their children's schedule today. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live at Spreckles Elementary in University City. Rachel, those families could see drastic changes in their routines. Yeah, you're right, Kimberly, and most of the parents we talked to here say they support the new law that will require the later start times for the older kids. They just had no idea it would come at the expense of the younger children. Crowds of children and parents leave Spreckles Elementary in University City. The dismissal bell rings here at 325, but major changes could be coming. This was just kind of thrown on us uh, like oh, two weeks ago. Christy Walsh and many other parents here are upset about a district proposal to change the start time here from 8.55 a.m. to 7.30. People choiced into this school because of that time because it works with their schedule. So when you choice in somewhere and that's your schedule, it works with your, your work and your family, and then having to go back an hour and a half, that's a really big drastic change. District leaders say the change is needed to comply with the new state law that requires all middle and high schools to start later. The law takes effect in 2022, but San Diego Unified will roll out the later starts beginning this fall. But we knew that if we just financially that if we're, and transportation wise, that if we're moving some schools later, other schools are going to have to move earlier. The Board of Education president says more than half of the district's elementary schools already start between 7.30 and 8, but Spreckles is one of roughly 10 that may see dramatic schedule changes. Because what we do is we have bus drivers go out and they do an early route and then they come back and then they do a later route and so it's a real complicated puzzle. And Walsh says complicated for families who rely on after school child care. That's going to be a huge thing for some parents because the expense of the extra added aftercare is going to be more expensive and some parents are not going to be able to incur that cost. School leaders say nothing has been decided yet. They're still gathering feedback from the community. Parents hope they can reach some sort of compromise. Reporting live in University City, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. Rachel, thank